Hello, Guildmaster here. Welcome to episode uh, two, I think, of uh, the modded survival. Last episode, uh, we did a bunch of stuff and I've done a lot of stuff on my own because, well, I had to. You know, you already seen a lot of stuff in the survival series. So lots has been done. So here we got an enchantment table. I went mining, a long time mining. You'll see. And I have six diamonds right now, plus these three, plus those two, so eleven. I got another portal set up. A bunch of chests with a bunch of blocks. And yeah. I also been uh, taming some animals here. You can see we got cows. Freshly bred actually. And sheeps. I'm not really breeding the sheep because they get wool back so fast. So, But we got that. Now the big thing I've been doing is uh, this right here. And this is a... Uh, a mob farm that hopefully is working. Yes, we're on, you know, like Y60. You can see I tried to get it as low as possible, but yeah, hopefully this is gonna work eventually. Could have been all for nothing. And if you want to see how I built it, well, here's the replay of it. Okay, now that you see in the replay of it, there's also another thing I want to show you, so I think I'm good. And that is, well, you can already see a giant pillar. So if you know the cave system I went in the first episode, uh, it actually went all the way over here. Like that is where I came out. I had to dig to the surface uh, manually, cause uh. I didn't know how to get back. Look how far, like all the way over there is where the uh, exit is, or the entrance. So, 
I'd do my own exit. But as I was uh, pillaring up, I saw two things, and I don't know if I want to deal with one of them, but if we go, uh, I think, yeah, there's actually a desert temple right there. So that's really good. And uh, so let's explore it. Uh, I saw it, you know, but I wanted to explore it on the episode. Because uh, I can get some TNT. I only need like one TNT in my life, but let's go. Hopefully there's no mobs. And... Dang bunnies are so loud. So I have to get down. I mean, I can just, like, water stream down. Probably the easiest. Okay, and what do we got? So, iron horse armor. Sand, bones. Riptide 3, okay. Projectile protection 2. Alright. Golden horse armor, more sand, more bones, gold. Okay, I think you can uh, smelt these. Oh, diamonds, there we go. Two diamonds, two emeralds, more gold, bones, string. Okay, so uh, not that bad, really. I don't need the TNT at all, but you know, I'll take it. Why not? For fun. I can uh, use it up, and I, of course I don't need the chest. And so that was pretty good, I guess. Diamonds and emeralds. Don't really don't want this stuff. Take that out of here. So my inventory is like already full from that. Um, of course, sand blocking it. There's actually another thing that I saw. I know you can already see it. Pillager outpost and a ravine. I've actually never seen a pillager outpost, so this is pretty interesting. Let's see what you got. I kind of don't want to kill any of them because I don't want to get the another. Oh, I don't want to get the. Uh, the enemy thing. Looks like they're just chilling on the outside. This. A chest at the top, I can see. As long as I don't kill the banner guy, it's fine though, right? So. I think they keep spawning. So let's just run in and grab it. And then leave as fast as possible. Okay, checked out projection 3. Bottle of enchanting. Wheat. Okay, so it's actually not even that good. Kind of unfortunate. Uh, killing them does nothing. I don't think they drop anything. Except the Vindicators. That guy has enchanted one, but... Oof, they actually hit me. Half a heart. Okay, but we got lots of enchanted books. That's good. Projectile protection 3. We can uh, survive. Luckily, sand doesn't update from running on top of it. And now, I'll just uh, head back, I think. So, I'll see you back there. Okay, slept through the night. It's now a daytime. Um, I can put all these stuff away. For sure. Cook this up. And... So, lots of enchantments. Riptide 3, I'm pretty sure, is good. Projectile protection is always good. This is horse armor. It's whatever. I need this whole chest just for sand. Uh, so much of that. Wood. Let's just use that. And that's everything. Where'd my fish go? There it is. So now, 
I know what I want to do. Let's go to the nether. So, take the flint and steel and let's light it up to uh, the nether lands. See what kind of spawn we get. Alright. So I'm going to need a uh, glowstone and a lot of quartz only a bit of glowstone but lots of quartz lava just just forming down <laughs> this is a big lava lake oh it's giant that's a baby pigman but no nether fortress unfortunately just fire I don't even know if you can get a portal near another fortress. Okay, but I just need a, like a hundred quartz and more than a hundred quartz, but two hundred quartz would be safe. But I mostly just need glowstone. So let me just click glowstone right now. Nice safe thing to collect. with the hands and I need like I don't know one two three four five six seven eight I mean I could actually use a uh, pumpkins instead I also do want to enchant this diamond pickaxe the level 30 enchantment but I don't have enough of the bookshelves to even do that. So I need to get uh, a lot of leather. That's what I need. So the cow farm I just made recently though. So yeah. But I think that's good. Not an even number. 11, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Still need more. There's none really nearby. Magma. Slime. That's useful. Maybe even killing gas. Not really though. As long as he doesn't jump off. Come here. Oh, I didn't know the big ones can drop it. No, I'm hungry also. I I really only get one? That's pretty amazing. Um, yeah. So, of course, I'll go mining here on my own time. And once I enchant a good pickaxe, probably. So I can do it all fast. And, uh, quartz does give you XP too, which is nice. So let's just head back. Uh, I don't want to deal with no gas. Do a bow and arrow. don't really want a brown mushroom. That's what this is for, yeet. You're gonna have too much another wreck. And what the heck? Why did the portal bring me here? What? Is that not the same portal? How did how does the portal form here? What is... I know we got the uh, 1 to 8 block ratio, but... Is the portal you form in the overworld, it's the same in the... And why is there a skeleton underwater? What? What's happening? I didn't even know skeletons could be underwater. Wait, wow, well, I'm so confused right now. Okay, uh, let's go back to... Base then? My nether portal's right there. Give me a free nether portal. Oh man. Well, I just need to farm these fish. It's good being next to a river biome, you know? There's no point in making like a f salmon river biome farm because the squids do like to spawn. But now I can build a, a pumpkin. 
melon farm that is a little better. So I need about 80 dirt. So let's see, uh, two stacks of dirt and a trap door. Gives me two, but that's fine. A hoe. And that is it, my seeds. So, um, where should I build it? Probably just like right here. Looks like a sheep escaped. I can build it anywhere, it doesn't really matter. It's not like a big deal. So, let me do that real quick. You can watch me, you don't need replay mod. I don't want to impede stuff, but... I could even just build it like next to this. I do want it this high though. Yeah, I can build it on the ground actually. It would be easier even just building it with this dirt. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But then animals can get it. You know? And there's also going to be pistons and stuff working. So, I uh, can even build it next to the animals here. But I want to expand that. And they're going to walk all over it. So I guess it doesn't really matter like that. Even like, this is good. So, uh... Or in the desert biome, that sounds like fun. So I don't get confused with all the grass. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. A lot of fish spawning. Usually fish don't spawn that often. Okay, but, uh... I can build it, like, right off. Over the water. That might be, a, like, a good idea. So, like, right here, even. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine. And then just connect it all up. I somehow built grass on top of dirt and top of grass also this uh... this tree i have here this big oak tree is actually uh, very useful it helped me find the house from on top of the mine shaft on the mine yeah there is actually a mine shaft where i dug out and it's one of the reasons i did the dig out also because my pickaxe is very low But, uh, let's just fill it up first, and then, you know, one, two, three, four, this one, this one, fill it up with water, I guess I don't need a trap door, I could, uh, fix the bottom later. Glowstone. Wait, did that one really give me five? Or no, I forgot to pick it up. It only gave me three. Then we get the hoe. And checker board it up. And you know, this is the same melon and pumpkin farms have always been the same concept. It's just with the uh, transparency of observer, f so transparency of and light levels required has been fixed by the stems. Um, stems actually don't need uh, a block above it. Before, if you had a transparent block above, it kind of didn't work. But now you can have a transparent block on top, 
and they'll still grow. So melons are more important than pumpkins, so one, two, three, four, five. Have the melons here. And have the pumpkins here. And that's basically the farm. Even put glowstone right here. Here. Oh, and I need it there too. So I'm going to have to remove this real quick. Here. Oof. And here. Oh, come on. And that is good. So, there you go. We have the melon pop from the farm. We went to the nether, found some structures. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.